presenting Bill Hicks. I'm tired of this life. I'm tired of this generation. I think it's a suck-ass world. And why is it we live in a world where John Lennon was murdered, yet Barry Manilow continues to put out fucking albums? If you're gonna snap, have some taste about you. Have some decency about you. Be a murderer fondly remembered. Take out those hack demons from the earth. Leave the good guys to live on, shall you? Okay! I believe we live in the opposite universe where goodness is murdered and mediocrity thrives. It always seems that way, doesn't it? John Lennon murdered, John Kennedy murdered, Robert Kennedy murdered, Martin Luther King murdered. Gandhi, Gandhi murdered. Jesus murdered. Reagan shot wounded cancer eight times. That fucker still walks. Well, this guy's like Jason. I'm back. Expect them to see him in a hockey mask any day now. Well, you shot me, I'm back. Cancer in my nose, I'm back. Cancer in my ass, I'm back. Jesus Christ, what's it gonna take? Give us a clue. A syringe of AIDS shot in your juggler, I'll do it. To rid the world of your fascist, stupid presence forever. You demon Ronald Wilson Reagan, six letters, six letters, six letters. Antichrist, devil, dick smoking motherfucker. Excuse me, sorry, sorry. You ought to see me when I don't smoke. Woohoo! Boy, do I get tense. I don't like Ronald Reagan, never have, never will. There's nothing you could possibly say to change my mind. And if you tried, you'd be wrong. Now, I am looking at John Hinckley in a whole new light these days. Hinckley was insane, no doubt about it. All he brought was a 22. John, you kill woodchucks with a 22. And all for the love of Jodie Foster, if that isn't a clue, this guy is out of his fucking mind. I wouldn't run over a bug for Jodie Foster. Now, if it was Phoebe Cates, <laughs> I might be barnstorming the White House. <laughs> for you, Phoebe. <laughs> There's just so much mediocrity in the world. And I'm starting to sound like my dad, but what's happened to music, you know what I mean? What is this Debbie Gibson bullshit? What is this about? Well, thank you. Who the fuck's buying her records then? Shake your love. Shake your love. I think before women should I'll be allowed to do that, they should have titties. I do. I really do. A little freckled mongoloid jutting her bony elbows at the camera. I think it's sick. And the most banal, trite demon from hell himself, Rick Astley, the guy who's bringing back disco. Who the fuck requested that? Don't ever want to make you cry, don't ever want to make you sigh, I love you, don't ever want to break your heart. Couldn't break any woman's heart, you have no dick. You have a little corn nut, you have no balls, you're a eunuch, you're a Nazi demon from hell and I hate you. I hate your parents, I hate everything about you. See, I like music that was, I like, I don't know, now catch me, come about to fall. I like good things. Yeah, I know, I'm a, I'm a relic. I like things with balls, you know. Uh, remember, uh, Jimi Hendrix. Now there's a guy, but no question where that guy, what he was all about, man. Balls, I think so. Stand by the mountain, chop it down with the edge of my hand. <laughs> Excuse me, Jimmy, what crawled up your ass and needs to come out? Have you thought about Herbalife? I'll talk you through this, Jimmy. Jimmy Hendrix died in a pool of his own vomit, folks. Do you know how much you have to puke to fill up a pool? No diving yet. But he had balls, you know? He cared. He actually tried to do his best. Saying, I like that in the world. Don't you? Yeah. 
and his little retarded soul brother, Mick Jagger. I love the Rolling Stones. I love Mick Jagger. I don't know what the fuck he's saying, but I, I, I feel for him, you know? I can't get me no satisfaction, sister. Said I can't get me no satisfaction. What? I don't know. You can't get something. Shut, shut, shut. What is that? Mick, we'd like to help. What the fuck are you saying? Can't get me no satisfaction. Mick, maybe Keith has some. <laughs> Keith, you got any association? I got some in my boot. <laughs> Folks, before I leave, I want to tell you the only piece of information that I have that I'd like to pass on to you because I love you people. And I want the world to live happily in unity forever and ever. Joy, peace, love. Deathless fucking ecstasy, babe. Okay? <laughs> The Antichrist is upon the earth in physical form, and I know who it is. <laughs> Curious? <laughs> I thought Ronald Wilson Reagan, six letters, six letters, six letters, but no, that's too obvious, and he's too stupid to be the Antichrist. So, it has to be somebody who is subtly undermining the quality and the substance of this country and has been doing it for years without our even being aware of it. Someone week after week who brings us the Debbie Gibsons of the world, who brings us the Rick Astleys of the world. This is the Antichrist. Dick Clark is the Antichrist. Now hear me out. Since you've seen TV, Dick Clark's been on TV? Has he aged one fucking day? I have aged more than Dick Clark. I'm going bald, I got gray hairs. Dick Clark hadn't changed. Doesn't seem natural, does it? That's not Dick Clark. That's the Antichrist. That's a Dick Clark rubber mask. When he gets off that TV show after he's brought you Debbie Gibson and Rick Astley, he goes into his office and he unzips that mask and underneath there's a cloven hooved horned wolverine. And there's a knock at the door and the door opens and Chuck Woolery walks in. And Chuck Woolery drops his pants and leans over a desk and the wolverine mounts him. And a black worm crawls out of the scaly penis of the wolverine into the bowels of Chuck Woolery. <laughs> Chuck Woolery is now pregnant with the brood of the children of the Prince of the Darkness and in the off season becomes fat and begins to shit them. <laughs> Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Geraldo. <laughs> Wham! <laughs> Oprah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>